Gardeners always have issues to deal with, everything from fungus to controlling wild weeds. Susie Bachman West from Bachman's is here to share some of the top issues facing gardeners right now. We are just talking through some yes. of them in my garden. <laughs> uh, weeds, of course, this is the time. Boy, some of the weeds are huge. Are, are huge, too. right? Yes. They're, they're pretty mammoth. When controlling weeds, you just really want to know what type of weed you have mm. because you use a different product. Okay. A broadleaf weed, such as a dandelion, so anything that has a, a wide leaf to it, mm -hmm. um, you can use something like Weed Be Gone or Weed Free Zone. Uh, and um, so that is a selective, what they call a selective herbicide. So that so it'll safe for other plants. Safe for other plants, nice. safe to your grass. Very important for Very people. important. Yeah. Safe for pets and kids, or should you keep them away? You for should keep them away. Okay. Um, but for the most part. Do those include those weeds. horrible prickly uh, weeds? You know those ones that pop like up? Like the, the thistle? Yeah. That would, y any of the broadleaf broad ones. Any of the will be covered yep. there. Okay. If you want to get rid of everything, then yeah. it's Roundup. Roundup is non-selective. It just, it, <laughs> it's the nuclear option. It kills okay, all. Weed killers. And then there also is a product called Grass Be Gone, which is very nice if you don't collect your grass clippings and they get blown into your mm. garden and Common. you have just regular, yeah. you know, grass, turf okay. grass. That only kills up. grass? It'll only kill grass. Really? Huh. Amazing. Oh, I need that. That's really <laughs> cool. That, I didn't know because I yep. leave my clippings on the lawn. Yep. Very good. Yes. Cool. All right. Now, uh, it's not just us newbies and, and kind of. Um, well, I don't know, weekend warrior gardeners that have to deal with things like w what's going on with this plant, yeah, right? Yeah, so um, powdery mildew is coming out uh, on a lot of perennials and shrubs right now. And where you see, you'll see like a kind of whitish, grayish, grayish cast yeah. Yeah, you can on the see leaf. It pretty well yep. on camera it's a there. fungus and it comes from uh, moisture, rain, and high humidity. Okay, it hasn't and really been super rainy lately, So, but even the humid the air humidity can do it. The okay. humidity will, will uh, take. And if you use a sprinkler system, for example, to water your garden, right. the wetness gets right on the leaves. Exactly. And, this and also, if you have a very dense garden that doesn't have good airflow, mm, sure. uh, it can happen. So what do we do? So you can spray it with a fungicide. Powdery mildew doesn't kill the plant. It makes it unsightly. It also weakens the plant. So then something else could come in okay. and potentially kill Not it. Not an emergency, but if Not you want to take care of it. But kill it. Any leaves that fall off, take them out of um, the garden so it doesn't spread. Okay. And we've no, all noticed the, the beetles flying around lately. The Japanese beetles are everywhere, especially if you have roses, lindens, mm -hmm. ivy, um, a, a spray, or you can have a trap. The big thing with a trap is keep the trap away from the plants that they want to eat. Keep them away from your roses. The trap lures them. Because it attracts them as well. <laughs> so you so want to lure them away. Same with the fly. Oh, there it is. And then oh, sorry. there's lots of mite problems right now, you too. Can use that for that. And for all your spider mites. Very good. Susie Bagger West, thank you so much. Thank you.